Hey everyone, Kyle Erickson here. I would venture a guess that if asked, most people who are asked what's the greatest part about being on an iPhone or an iPad, or most Apple products for that matter, would say the ecosystem. And I think the ecosystem is one thing you don't fully appreciate until you're either immersed in it, after being on other platforms similar to how I was, or if you moved away from Apple and realized how far ahead it is in terms of accessing features across devices seamlessly. A big part of the ecosystem is what's called continuity. And this is the system that Apple has that lets you transition from your iPad to your iPhone and to your Mac with things like handoff SMS messages across devices, auto unlocking features through your watch, the universal clipboard, airdrop and so on. One of the latest things to pop up within this system that we saw at WWDC this year was universal control. And this basically gives you the ability to place an iPad or another Mac beside your primary Mac computer. And with virtually no setup, be able to drag your mouse cursor from one screen to the next, moving between machines pretty much seamlessly, where you're able to drag and drop files into documents. To me, this seems pretty crazy. Uh, personally, I'm not sure how often I would use something like this until it's in my hands, but just the fact that this is possible kind of blows my mind. And it starts making you think about what kind of uses this could have down the road and how we're really starting to see an ecosystem where everything is really interconnected and we could just use this tech all together without even having to think about it. The few uses Apple gives for this out of the gate is someone who is wanting to create a design on their iPad with the Apple Pencil and then being able to bring that and drop it into a project on their Mac or dragging files over from one system to another, maybe if you're working on a document or if you're in Final Cut Pro or something. It certainly seems more useful than something like Sidecar, which turns your iPad into a secondary display for your Mac. That's still really cool, but there is some setup involved and it's basically just a monitor when it's enabled where universal control kind of has taken pieces from sidecar and then thrown in handoff and airdrop all into one feature. From a technical standpoint, it works by placing two compatible devices close enough to each other. Uh, I think the range that they give you is about 10 meters. I'm not sure how useful something is going to be when the screens are 30 feet apart. Uh, you probably just end up using these pretty close to each other, but in any case, when they are close enough, the Bluetooth modules detect each other and when you drag your cursor to the right or left edge of the screen, your Mac is going to assume that you're trying to move to another device, which from what I understand, the OS assumes that you're dragging onto the last device that you've been using other than your Mac. From there, a Wi-Fi direct connection is made, which is just a peer-to-peer -peer Wi-Fi link and the device will show the bar along the edge to notify you that universal control has been activated. And when you keep dragging, it pushes the cursor to the other view, and you should be able to use both the mouse and the keyboard back and forth between devices. The little bar or universal control indicator also has a few arrows inside of it, where you can possibly slide it up or down to adjust where exactly your secondary device is sitting to kind of best line up your screens. And then potentially you're all set to go. Now that all seems pretty seamless, but as far as I can tell and from the glimpses that I've seen there's still maybe some extra requirements for this to work. To enable universal control, you'll need to be on iPadOS 15 if you're using an iPad and macOS Monterey if you run it on your Mac. Both devices need to be logged in in iCloud under the same account and there are some limits as to which machines will work with it. There's a list here. If you're on a semi-recent iPad or a Mac, it should support it. If you've got something older, you'll probably be out of luck. One other thing you'll likely need to make sure to do in Mac OS is head to System Preferences, go to General, and make sure you've got Allow Handoff Between Devices checked. And the same kind of thing goes on iPad. You'll want to go to your Settings, General, 
Airplay and handoff and make sure handoff is toggled on. On the Mac, you may also need to go to displays and advance and make sure both of those checkboxes are checked. Just keep in mind that these OS steps are a bit theoretical at this moment. I've got both iPad OS 15 and the beta version of Monterey running on my Mac, but this feature still hasn't been enabled even in the beta, which makes me wonder if they are having some trouble with the implementation. Usually by now you see most of these features advertised in a new operating system release in beta versions this late. I know that there was some previous workarounds and previous beta builds where people actually had got this working, at least partially, but it seems like in recent builds it's just not working. But I could totally understand how something like this is probably super difficult to implement from a technical standpoint. I know I have questions about how you would do something like this without it becoming annoying, say, if I was just using my iPad for something completely different and I just set it down, I could see it being annoying if I hopped on my Mac and then all of a sudden I'm getting this universal control sidebar popping up all the time. And another thing I wonder about is how well this will work for a Mac mini versus a MacBook or an iMac. With a Mac mini, you could potentially be using any size of monitor, have your actual machine placement in a completely different place than the monitor. Whereas on a laptop or an all-in-one like an iMac, you kind of know where the bounds of the machine are. And you can't really separate the display from the machine. It will be interesting to see how they manage to do all of this. I've been insanely excited to try out this feature, so I can't wait until it's available. Uh, hopefully it does pop up in a release soon and it's not something that's proved to be too much of a technical challenge that gets left out because I think it would be awesome to play around with and probably pretty useful for some folks. There are a lot of other features coming out with Monterey this year, so I'm curious to know if anyone else is excited for any other operating system features. And drop a comment down below and let me know. If you had a fun time checking out this video, please violently click that like button. It does really help help me out. If you want to see more tech related content, please subscribe. There is loads more on the way. Uh, I do want to give you guys a desk setup tour here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that and anything else that drops. All right. I will see you in the next video.